Hello, my name is Dr. Lichtenstein. I am a cucumbers extraordinaire, scientist, doctor, some even call me crazy. You may notice that my arms have a bit of a mind of their own. It is because I made them myself after a tragic lab explosion where I lost my real arms and I'm still getting used to these, but I think I like them. Today we are going to make pickles. Now pickles are amazing things. They are full of probiotics and they can preserve fruits and vegetables for a long past they would normally rot. Today we will be using cucumbers, but you can actually make pickles out of anything. You can make them out of, say, radishes. You can make them out of uh, carrots. You can make them out of anything. But like I said, today we are going to make the humble cucumber pickles. The first thing you will need to do is wash, oh, is, is taste the cucumber to make sure it's fresh. We will now taste the cucumber. Yes, what's this very nice. It's very fresh cucumber. I like it. Now we will wash the cucumbers. Take our wash basin. And we wash. Wash, 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 wash in the cucumbers. Now we are done. We are done washing. So we are done, that's enough washing. They are clean. Thank you. Now that we've washed the cucumbers, it is time to cut the cucumbers. This is a very important but dangerous step. You make sure that you have an adult present or just have them do it for you, because this can be dangerous. We will now cut the cucumbers. We will now find the cucumbers and cut the cucumber. We have now cut the cucumbers into these beautiful spears. The next step is to stuff the cucumbers, one at a time, or a bunch at a time, all at once. Just stuff them into the jar. Stuff them in cucumbers, more cucumbers, that's a carrot. We'll stuff them into the jar. There they are, they are happy now in the jar. The next thing we need to do is stuff all of the fancy spices into the jar. Not the salt, not the salt. Nope, not yet. We will get there, but let's start with the dill, because we are going to make dill pickles. Stuff the dill. Into the jar. Be nice and generous. That's a lot of dill. I like dill. Okay, that's enough dill. Stuff it in. It's happy dill. Now we get some garlic. Dice the garlic and we just put it right in the jar. That's enough garlic, I think. Um, let's put some peppercorns in the jar. Here I have some lovely peppercorns. We will just put a few in the jar. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, we have the peppercorns in the jar. Shaky, shaky. The next step, and the very important one, is to make the brine. Now, the brine is really just water and salt. Water and salt. Some people like to use vinegar, but this is not good lacto-fermentation. This speeds up the process and produces pickles that do not have the same tartness. I like the lacto-fermentated pickles. So we will just use salt and water. Now, we will bring the water over to the middle very carefully without spilling it. And now we will grab our salt and get a teaspoon, actually maybe a tablespoon, and we will pour three tablespoons of salt for our cups of water. Shaky, shaky into the... That's... Yes, here we are getting some in there. And we put that in the water. That's good, that's good. I think that will be enough. Now that it is dissolving in the water, we will put it into the jar with our pickles very carefully so we do not spill our precious brine. That was very impressive. We put the brine into the pickle jar. The final step is to close the jar. Now that we close the jar, we will put our pickles in a warm place 
for three to five days. This is very important as it gives time to ferment. Nature's magic. In a few days, you will notice some bubbling happening on the top and you will want to taste your pickles. That is okay. They are safe and ready to eat. Let's take a taste of one of our pickles. Here it comes. There it is. Yes, since we just made them, they are clearly not ready and very salty. But they will be delicious in just a few days. Mwah! Bon appetit! Have fun and make pickles every day. Goodbye! Hey, amazing boys and amazing girls. Dr. Lichtenstein, he's a bit crazy. But I think in all that he said about pickles, he actually made a really good point, whether he knew it or not. The point is this. There's this amazing story in the Bible about these two sisters, Mary and Martha. They invite Jesus to come and stay at their house. And while Jesus comes and all of his friends are there, Martha busies herself in the kitchen. I mean, she's boiling potatoes and making bread and pounding out meat to go on the grill. She is cooking up a storm and she is working like crazy. Mary, on the other hand, is sitting at Jesus' feet. She's listening to every word that he says. No matter how much work there is to do, how many things there are to clean or things to cook, Mary has decided to just sit at Jesus' feet. Well, suddenly, Martha realizes, my sister isn't doing a thing. I'm doing all the work in here, and she's there sitting at Jesus' feet. And instead of complaining about it, she goes straight to Jesus, and she says, Jesus, have you noticed my sister isn't doing a thing? She's left all the work to me. Now tell her to get up and help me. And Jesus has the most incredible response. I mean, he could have said, who are you to talk to me like that? Get, get back to work. You're crazy. He, he could have told Mary. He could have said, yeah, Mary, what are you doing? You're leaving your sister to do all this work. Go help her in the kitchen. But instead, he turns to Martha and he says, Martha, Martha, you could be doing all of this incredible work, but it's gotten to the point where doing the work has made you worried. It's, it's gotten you distracted. It's gotten you frustrated about all sorts of things. But there's one thing that's important, and Mary has chosen it. It's Jesus. Choosing Jesus is the one important thing. Now here's how this has to do with pickles. When we choose Jesus, and we sit at his feet, we are like a cucumber that it's on its way to becoming a pickle. See, Dr. Lichtenstein, he talked about how cucumbers become pickles, right? Through a process called fermentation. In that brine, that salt water, the cucumbers don't actually do anything. All the cucumbers do are sit there. They just sit and wait, and the brine does the rest. The brine transforms those wonderful cucumbers into delicious pickles. You and I, we're the cucumbers. We're the cucumbers and God's presence is the brine. When we sit at Jesus' feet, when we just sit in his presence, we don't have to do anything. We allow him to transform us. Through that process, we are transformed into the likeness of Christ. We begin to act more like him, begin to look more like him, begin to talk more like him, begin to love more like him. When we get into the presence of God and we forget about all of the work that there is to do and we just enjoy his presence, he begins to transform us into his likeness. And when we're transformed into the likeness of Christ, we do the things of Christ. But it's not out of a work-based mentality like Martha. It's not that we're worried about getting all of this stuff done and doing it the right way and making sure it looks great and it's executed well. We do it because we love Jesus and we've been transformed by his love. Amazing boys and amazing girls, let's be like Mary. Let's be transformed by the presence of God. And just like cucumbers are transformed into pickles by sitting in the brine, let's be transformed into the likeness of Christ by sitting in his presence. Would you join me this week in sitting in God's presence just because we love him, 
and we want to be more like him. Would you bow your heads and close your eyes? Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for all these amazing boys and amazing girls. I thank you for their parents with them today. And God, I pray that you would transform us into the likeness of Christ. Lord, we know that we are new creations the moment that we accept you into our hearts. The moment that we say our life is no longer our own, but it's yours, Jesus. But that process can't just stop right there because we want to be more like you each and every day. Would you help us to choose you, Jesus, to choose to sit at your feet, just like Mary did, the one important thing. Would you help us to be more like you, to look more like you, to sound more like you, to love more like you. And just like cucumbers are transformed into pickles, God, would you transform us into your image? We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, amen. Now go eat a pickle already.